Next news is out of India. Kids are being forced to become non-vegetarians. BJP targets government over eggs in midday meals. So about six months ago, the Congress government started reintroducing eggs into schools' midday uh, meals to fight the chronic malnourishment they're starting to see in children. Um, the BJP party previously had removed eggs from the meals um, over complaints that, you know, eggs are against their customs as vegetarians. Um, and uh, so, yeah, parents are upset. But the, the problem is there are children who are being malnourished, and this is supposed to help that issue. Uh, but people are very upset because of their vegetarian beliefs. Now, before this show, I got to speak to Subham about this because I was very confused. In the West, at least, where I am growing up, uh, I was a vegetarian all my life. I ate eggs. Uh, when I was a vegetarian, I ate cheese, had leather, bags, whatever. Um, yeah, because it wasn't you, you, an issue of that. you used to be a vegetarian, but not a vegan. Before I went vegan, yes. Okay, okay before. Um, but so, are, what so, are you now? Are you a vegetarian? No. No. Not anymore. Okay, okay, good. No. Um, so just so i was confused about this saying well they're eating eggs that's still vegetarian subham told me that over there if you eat the yolk it's not vegetarian what? so um that's that's what they're adding to the school's midday oh, meals oh because the yolk is where the fetus is created so yeah the, the, the white uh -huh. part is vegetarian but the ye the yellow part is <laughs> but it's not meat yet it will be right. It's, it's not meat yet. It That's will become it meat well, well, if you're in the right condition, but it's not meat yet. Well, if, if that, if I mean, by that argument, we shouldn't be eat, eating plants either, because if plant could become meat, if an animal eats it, then at some point it becomes meat. So, because it, because plant has the potential of becoming meat, then you shouldn't be eating plant <laughs> either. <laughs> But I mean, yeah. this is this is this is so sad because if these kids are, mal you know, they, they they seem to need the nutrition that you get out of meat more than most people. Exactly, and that's that's the problem here is you can be vegetarian, you can be vegan all you want to, as long as you are consuming the right amount of calories, the right amount of nutrients, and you're you've got pills to supplement. If you're vegan, you don't get B twelve, so you know you, you need all of that, but. These children are getting all of that. Yeah. So if they need, you know, they need something meat. else to supplement for that, then they should have it. It should be given to the kids regardless of parents' beliefs because if they're malnourished, um, clearly their belief is wrong for this child. Wait, so is this a public school or a private school? It is a government school. Government school? It is. Holy yep. shit, now I'm angry. This kid, uh, like, is this, so the money from the public is being used and th these people are enforcing their belief on something that yep. taxpayer money is being used on trying to create the relief program and instead of actually using the taxpayer money to give these kids what they need they're actually using their they're enforcing their beliefs on these poor kids like what the hell end up, end this, up. Yeah, okay on. i i just want to say that uh, the state chhattisgarh is one of the most malnourished states in India, okay? Okay. And it's not like the kids are being forced to eat. I mean, egg is just an item in the menu. Okay. I mean, there are other items like banana and milk. If the kids don't want to eat egg, they can refuse it. I mean, they have other items. But the, uh, what they are saying, what BJP is saying, since some of them don't eat eggs, since some of them are vegetarians, none of them should get eggs. Well, yeah, that's bullshit. The one, the kids that want eggs yeah. should get eggs. Absolutely bullshit. What? Absolutely the bullshit. BGP. Oh, wait, is this coming down from the you, you, like BGP. Is this from the top? Like what? Like, on a federal level or on a state level? On a pro, you know, I, pro I think it's probably the state level, but uh, it says the Congress government. Mm. The Congress government introduced eggs, and the BJP is opposing the eggs. Okay, so the Congress government is is against this. Yeah, the Congress government is the central left government yeah, for yeah. those who don't know. So let's get some somebody should sneak in some eggs to the school for these kids, for the kids that want eggs and are not getting eggs. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. 
let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.